I put a question on my Instagram stories last night asking people to DM me and sort of help me out with something I've been thinking about. The first question was, do you make an actual effort to widen your social circle and make new friends? And the second question was, would you sometimes say that you're lonely? And I got an amazing response. I had loads of people message me, which really surprised me. Uh, quite a few guys as well as girls messaged me, which was really nice because I think this, what I've been thinking about, it goes across genders, goes across sexes. It's just something, I think it's universal. Why is it taboo as an adult to admit that you want to make new friends? So I thought it's, there's no harm in wanting to make new friends. And I may start making more of an effort to do that last month. I went to a meetup, which was terrifying. It was called Girls Night Out. And I found it through the app Meetup. There's a website, meetup.com. And I found this one. And it's for um, a lady called Mel, who started Travel Queens. And she arranged the meetup. And it was a girls' night out in Manchester. Absolutely terrifying, let me tell you. Walking into The Alchemist, the bar. It was worse than going on a date. It was terrifying, um, but I really enjoyed it and I had a really good time and I met some great people and it was just nice. We just went for a few drinks, had some food, were dancing. It was just good to connect with new people. There's a few different reasons why I personally want to keep increasing my social circle and making new friends. So the first one is, like I mentioned before, outside interest. So I'm into like hill walking and adventures and like random stuff. And if I can meet people who are into that too, obviously that makes it more fun. And also I, if I'm trying to like learn a new skill or grow my business or something like that, if I can be around people who are, who are similar minded, then it helps me too. Um, from a, just a friendship perspective, as we get older, I find that a lot of my friends, so I'm, in, I'm 32, a lot of my friends are settled down, married with kids or they're coupled up and they're like, they're all happy in relationships and it's actually getting more and more difficult to find people to go out with and to just have fun with. So I would like, I know I'm not the only person in that situation. So if I can find a way to meet other people who are in a similar situation to me and we can do stuff together, why wouldn't I do that? The other reason I think it's important for me to keep making friendships is I'm very focused on my personal growth, which is not me sounding like all hippie-ish and like hippy-dippy. That's just me going, I am, want to have a growth mindset. So why would I not apply that to my friendships and relationships with friends? If I only mix with the people I've always mixed with, then that's a fixed mindset, not a growth mindset. So how am I going to evolve and change if I'm not bringing new people into my life who are going to help me do that. I'm not saying I'm ditching my old friendships, no way at all. I'm just saying I don't see the harm in reaching out and making new friendships. It's easier when you're at school and you're younger, although I missed out on a lot of that my teenage years, but it's easier when you're younger. Hang on, Madam here is whinging. She's in, she's in this video too. Stop whinging. Um, it's easier when you're younger because you've got people around you all the time. But as you get older, you go to work, you socialize with the same group of people, really looking at your week, how much time do you get to just naturally meet new, new people? I don't get a lot of time, uh, not on a social level. And I think that's the same for a lot of people too. So it has to, if I want that to happen, I've got to go out and find that and make that connection and make an effort to do it. Hence the meetups and the things like that. Things that people messaged me last night, uh, were saying the same thing, that they really struggle making new friendships and a lot of their peers and like friends they've grown up with and known for a long time are in a different stage of life to them. So it's almost like some people just think that their life is closing down and it's really difficult to actually get out and make new friends. When I went to the last meetup, I told a lot of people afterwards, like, oh, I went to a meetup and it was this and this is what we did. And most people looked terrified, like someone, I think you know who you are, uh, was actually visibly shaking and like, oh, I feel really sick just thinking about that. But every single person has said to me, do you know what? I'd love to be able to do that. I'd love to have the confidence to do that. And that in itself is powerful. Being that scared 
it's a thing that terrifies me. Being that scared, but overcoming it and just going through it is powerful in itself. So I know from talking to people, a lot of people want to reach out and make new friends, but I just think it's really difficult for people to do that. Um, oh, look how cute she is falling asleep. One person said to me that uh, I'm not that desperate to have to want to make new friends. I don't see it as being desperate. I see it as self-development, self-improvement, growth. And when it comes in other forms, people are more open to it. But why not friendship? Where's the harm in actually just saying, yes, I want to make new friends. And yes, I'm going to make an effort to go and make new friends. I don't think there's any harm in it. I think it's an attractive quality to have to that growth mindset and I'm open to it. So that's just a little bit of background on where I've been at the moment. I had a few people message me after my Instagram stories going, are you okay? Do you need someone to talk to? Which was really, really nice. It wasn't about that. It was more like a general musing. I've been going through my own mind and experiences over the last few months really. And from speaking to other people, I sort of got the feeling that other people were thinking similar. If you sort of pick away and it's actually more of a universal thing. So it was just a bit of interest to be able to get direct feedback and the messages that I got showed to me that I was right, that is the case. So I'm going to this meetup later and yeah, new friendships, why not?